Changing the mindset of Malaysians to rebuild a new inclusive Malaysia is difficult and that is why the Deputy Women, Family and Community Minister wants to start with the civil service. And I want to start with the civil service. Uh, for me, the last, uh, since 2nd July, I find that every day I'm trying to battle with the civil service. Uh, not physically, but their mindset, trying to challenge them to think out of the box, trying to challenge them to do things differently. Uh, and, and that will take some time. So I ask for patience, uh, that you will be patient together with the government uh, in building this nation. Hannah also said for Malaysians to coexist together, there should be more room for differences and disagreements. So really for me, I feel that this new nation that we have now, we have to stop labelling people and judging people for the language they use, the clothes they wear. Uh, you know, just let Malaysians be Malaysians. I think, I think just let people, let, let people enjoy this space under this new Malaysia. Like I said, we have enough space for everybody and we have to learn to respect one another. The Sagambut MP also urged the people to speak loud and proud about a new inclusive Malaysia, whether it be through a movie, article or show. She said there were enough good people in the government who would continue to be a voice for all Malaysians. Yo said that at a Merdeka Day celebration held by Malaysians for Malaysia on Friday. Notable activists like transgender advocate Nisha Ayob, lawyer Siti Kasim, Datin Paduka Marina Mahadir and Ivy Josiah attended the celebration along with Marina's parents, Prime Minister Tun Dr. Mahadi Mohamad and Tun Dr. Siti Hasmah Muhammad Ali as well as Petaling Jaya MP Maria Chin Abdullah.